and welcome to the Las Vegas Distinction, where we highlight certain businesses and attractions in Las Vegas that we feel deserve the title of the Las Vegas Distinction. Businesses that have gone out of their way as innovators to create a unique and profitable manner of doing business that have left a positive impact on customers and entrepreneurs alike. My name is Dwayne Walker, and in this first episode, we will spotlight Lee's Discount Liquors. How and Lee's journey to success is one of resilience, determination, and steadfast belief in the power of hard work. Born in South Korea, Lee immigrated to the United States with little more than a dream. He settled in Las Vegas, a city brimming with opportunity, yet fraught with challenges for new entrepreneurs. In 1980, Lee was disappointed that the only work he could get was menial and temporary work due to not knowing how to speak the English language. In 1981, Lee took a leap of faith, investing in a small liquor store, Plaza Liquors, which would later become the chain known as Lee's Discount Liquors. It was one of the few packaged liquor stores in Las Vegas as most liquor was sold in grocery stores. He would often work overnight shifts as a bellhop go home to sleep for a three hours, and then work a 12-hour shift at the liquor store. This store would be the humble beginnings of what would grow into Nevada's largest liquor retailer, Lee Discount Liquors. From the start, Hal and Lee had a clear vision. He wanted to create a store that offered not just affordability, but also had an unmatched selection of products. Lee recognized that Las Vegas was a melting pot of cultures and tastes and he curated his inventory to reflect the diversity of the community. Whether customers sought rare wines, popular spirits, or craft beers, Lee's stores aim to meet those needs. Lee also emphasized exceptional customer service. He instilled in his employees the importance of treating each shopper with respect and attentiveness, believing that a satisfied customer was the best form of advertising. In 2006, Lee and the banker James Yu purchased an Albertsons village and strip mall near the Las Vegas Chinatown and created Korean Town Plaza. It was there Lee established a restaurant, Woonam Jung, which eventually became known as Lee's Korean Town Barbecue. This was all part of Lee's plan to export Korean culture to Las Vegas. How and Lee's family played a crucial role in the business success. His son, Kenny Lee, joined the company and in 2012 took over the daily operations of the store's 17 locations. Kenny Lee shared his father's dedication to growth and community. Together they expanded Lee's Discount Liquors from a single store to a thriving chain of 22 locations across Nevada. The family-oriented nature of the business fostered a culture of trust and loyalty among employees, many of whom worked for the company for decades. Like any business, Lee's Discount Liquor faced its share of obstacles. The recession of 2008 tested the resilience of many small businesses, but Lee's Discount Liquors weathered the storm through strategic management and commitment to affordability. How and Lee's ability to adapt and innovate during challenging times set a powerful example for his team. Lee's Discount Liquor wasn't just a store, it was a pillar of the Las Vegas community. The company regularly sponsored local events, contributed to charities, and supported initiatives that benefited education and public health. How and Lee believed that a successful business had a responsibility to give back, and this philosophy endeared the company to the people of Nevada. Tragically, How and Lee passed away on August 27, 2021, of pancreatic cancer, but he left behind a legacy that continues to inspire. His son, Kenny Lee, took the reins of the business, carrying forward the values of hard work, integrity, and service that his father instilled. It was known for its humorous advertisements. One of them was, alcohol is cheaper than therapy. There was a petition at change.org from people who were offended and didn't find the ads funny, but Kenny Lee responded, when KLUC did an online poll about us, 85% of the people knew that we were just joking around. When you're in a city where you have mobile billboards with half-naked girls, it's hard to believe that people would give us trouble for the stuff that we put on our signs. Three months later, Kenny Lee died at the age of 53 in a tragic automobile accident. The company remains committed to its roots while exploring new opportunities for growth and innovation. Lee's Discount Liquor is more than just a retail success story. 
It's a testament to the power of vision, perseverance, and the unwavering support of family and community. Hal and Lee's journey from immigrant to industry leader serves as an enduring reminder that the American dream is alive and well for those willing to pursue it with courage and determination. And on a personal note, when I first came to Las Vegas back in 2014, Lee's discount leggers had invited Diane Keaton, the actress and director of the movie Heaven, to meet the public and the fans as she promoted her wine label, The Keaton. Due to a scheduling conflict, I was unable to attend, but in my mind it put Lee's discount liquors on the map as truly being a place that was above and beyond just being a liquor store. It certainly is a business to be respected, and as such, it deserves the Las Vegas distinction. If you enjoyed this look into a successful Las Vegas business, then please subscribe and like this video so you can keep up whenever we have a new story to tell about a person or business who has certainly earned the Las Vegas distinction. My name is Dwayne Walker, and thank you for watching.